back with another edition of The Smoking Den. I'm your host, Smokey Dan, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at the uh, newest blend from Tataui, which is the Fausto, uh, Fausto Esteli. Um, Fausto is uh, Splendor, and I'm hoping this cigar lives up to its name. Uh, it's a Robusto, it's a 5x54. Uh, it's a little bit bigger ring gauge than usual. And it's a, uh, got a beautiful, uh, oily, really handsome, uh, it, it's a lot smoother than it looks, too. A wrapper, it's a uh, Ecuadorian Habano Maduro wrapper, and uh, inside is a Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan fillers, which I'm guessing by the name are coming from the Esteli region in Nicaragua. <laughs> that said, I want to know how it smokes. I have not had a Tataui in a long time usually pretty expensive cigars, and uh, the couple I've smoked have been very good, but I've never tried this blend. A little bit tough to get lit, unfortunately. But the Bugatti dual flame torch makes a piece of cake of it. Rich, meaty flavors, a little bit of roasted meat. A lot of dark coffee and some dark, dark nutty flavors going on. A very dark, full-bodied cigar so far. Got a little bit of chocolate coming in in the front palate. Um, rich, rich round mouthfeel. Very nice. I just, I, it's really tough for me to express how dark all of these flavors are. Like, dark chocolate, dark coffee, um, dark nutty flavors. Even the, even the touch of woodsy note that's coming in in the top palette is a dark woodsy note to it. Um, but it's very tasty. It's, it's very involving flavors. You just sort of have to like this kind of thing. Um, but I got a few inches left to smoke on this. So we'll be back on, with the uh, verdict in a couple of seconds on your YouTube screen. And welcome back for the verdict on this uh, Tataui Fausto. Um, mostly positive things to say about the cigar. It is very good. The uh, flavors that I was getting in the very beginning, through the first two thirds, uh, it stayed basically the same, except that the dominant flavors um, would would interchange. You know, I'd have a few puffs where the coffee was the main flavor, a few puffs where the chocolate was, a few puffs where the nuttiness was. Uh, really, really enjoyable. Uh, the th last third, it's it sort of died down a little bit as far as the flavor goes, uh, but just a little bit. The chocolate is probably the most um, dominant flavor. There's a little bit of earth, but the other flavors, the nuttiness, um, the meaty flavors, have all sort of uh, died off, which a little bit sad, but it's still a great cigar. I've had to touch it up a couple of times. Um, so there's been a little bit of problem with the burn. The draw's been excellent. Um, the ash, it's okay, but it does tend to flake a lot. Um, which is surprising for this uh, for this um, size of a ring gauge. Yep, 
dark chocolate earth and there's a little bit of coffee still coming in the finish. You know, very, very nice cigar. Uh, it's also incredibly full-bodied. I mean, this thing packs a punch. I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 and I'm going to highly recommend it. Um, I believe I paid about $8.50 for this cigar, which is a smidgen, and I do mean a smidgen less expensive than uh, the regular Tataui line. Um, and it is a little more full body than the regular Tataui line. Um, but if you're looking for a complex, very full bodied smoke with, as I said before, dark flavors, this is definitely one to try. If you normally smoke, um, like uh, Partagas Black Labels, give this one a shot. I think you'll really like it. Uh, in any case, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, never a better time to get into it. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have a comment, please feel free to leave one. And uh, if you have a cigar that you'd like me to uh, review, uh, send me a line and uh, send me a cigar. I'll be happy to review it. Uh, just no machine-made cigars. And uh, in any case, keep smoking whatever you're smoking. We'll see you around for the next review.